Hi there! Thank you for sharing my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of a series of videos I'm posting to try to help people out with the attitude test to take the civil service exam. Today we're going to talk about probability and I just want to explain it to you guys because it's probably going to be on the exam. But don't worry if you don't understand it. That's the reason why I'm filming this so you can keep uh, trying on your own. Alright? So I'm going to explain it to you better. I'm going to switch over to my PC so I can show you how. Let's talk about probability. In probability, actually, yung mga ganitong klaseng tanong. Okay? If you were to roll the dice one time, what is the probability that you will land on a one? And the thing with probability questions is, usually, ang sagot lang talaga, hindi usually, ang sagot lang talaga when it comes to these types of questions is either a fraction, a decimal, or a percentage. Okay? Hindi pwede, when it comes to probability questions, hindi pwede sagot ang whole number. That's the first, uh, ano ba yun, first clue. Unless something is 100% na pwede mangyari, ang lahat ng possible na questions can, should only be a fraction, decimal, or percentage. Bakit? Kasi, ang probability is usually, ang cap niya kasi is hanggang 100% lang. 100% if it's 100% sure na mangyayari. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, kunyari, looking at the options sa exam, nakita niyo probability yung tinatanong. Tapos, nakita niyo uh, half of the options are more than 1 or more than 100%. Hindi na yun pwedeng sagot. You choose yung mga mas mababa sa 100% na. Okay? Ngayon, ang formula niya is the number of successful outcomes over the total possible outcomes. Basically, kung ilan ang papasa sa standard over kung ilan yung mga pinagpipilian. In this case, ang sabi, if you were to roll the dice one time, what is the probability that it will land on a 1? Ang tanong dito is this, ilan ang papasa sa standard? Ngayon, ang standard natin, it has to land on a 1. So, sa isang die, ilan ang 1? Diba, isa lang naman? So, ang number sa taas becomes 1. Ngayon, ilan yung total possible outcomes? Ang tanong, ilan ang face ng isang die? Diba, meron tayong anim na mukha sa isang die? You have the 1, the 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Ibig sabihin, Yan yung anim na mukha niya. So, yung 6 na yan, yan ang ilalagay natin sa ilalim. The answer is 1 over 6. The probability of rolling the dice and getting a 1, rolling a die and getting a, a 1 is 1 over 6. Okay? Ngayon, ang problema sa probability questions is that, okay, sana kung ganito ka basic yung tanong. Pero paano kung ganito? Okay? Again, same formula sabi, if you were to roll the dice twice, what is the probability that it will land on one both times? So again, one pa rin yung target natin. Kaya lang dalawang beses ka daw mag-roll. Now, the thing with probability is, the number of times ka mag-roll, which is twice, determines kung gano ka baba pa yung probability na makaka-roll ka ngayon. If you play uh, board games, if you play board games like Snakes and Ladders, Monopoly, anything like that, I know probably may experience kayo na ang hirap mag-land ng dalawang beses na magkasunod sa... sa uh, same number. Kaya, gusto niya 6. Gusto niya sa susunod na turn 6 ulit. Parang feeling natin, di ba? Parang ang imposible naman na magkasunod na 6. That entire concept, okay, applies dito. Ibig sabihin, the more times na gusto mong sunod-sunod successful yung outcome mo, or swerte ka basically, the, the lower the chances. Hindi naman pwedeng, kumbaga sila swerte tayo lang tuloy-tuloy. Yun yung pinaka-operating principle. So, when you roll the dice twice, hindi lang siya isang number. Ang advice ko would be this, Yung dami ng beses kung, kaya, kung ilan ka bubunot, dami ng beses kung ilan ka mag-roll, ilagay nyo siya bilang patlang. One, two. Bakit dalawa? Kasi dalawang beses ka mag-roll. Okay? And ang operating operation ng probability, combination permutation, anything like that, is always multiplication. Okay? So, imumultiply mo yung dalawa. Ito yung first roll, ito yung second roll. Okay? Ngayon, babalik tayo sa formula which is number of successful outcomes over total possible outcomes. Ilan ang 1 sa die? Again, 1 over 6 which is yung dami ng faces ng die. Yun yung probability for your first roll. Dahil may second roll ka pa, meron ka pa ulit isang 1 over 6. Bakit? Kasi, kailangan daw mag-land ka on a 1 on both times. Ibig sabihin, 1 ka dito, 1 uli dito. So, the answer is, 1 over 36. And if you notice, bumababa siya, right? From 1 over 6, maliit yan, pero mas maliit pa rin di hamak yung 1 over 36. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Habang nagdadagdag tayo ng standard, mas lumilit ang probability na may pumasa sa standard natin. When I can teach this live, I always tell my students, para yung pag tayo ng boyfriend or girlfriend, 
um, pag nagdadagdag ka ng standard, mas madal, mas mababa yung probability na kukuha mo lahat ng gusto mo. Okay? So, for example, ang standard mo ay eh, basta babae or basta lalaki. Ibig sabihin nun, mas marami kang pagpipilian. Pero pag may standard ka lang, gusto ko mas matangkad sa akin, gusto ko mas matalino sa akin, gusto ko ganito, ganyan, bumababa ang probability na may mga makakapasa sa standard mo. So, ganun din sa probability. Pag dalawang beses ka nag-roll, bababa yung probability makukuha mo both. Ngayon, I'm going to give you a problem. It's this. What is the probability that you will roll an even number on two rolls? Okay? And then, I'm going to ask you to solve that problem. Ito pa. What is the probability of that you will roll an even number on one roll? So, dalawang question. I'm going to ask you to hit pause so you can practice. Okay? Hit pause now. Alright. Let's see if you got it right. So, yung una, sabi ito sa left, what is the probability that you will roll an even number on one roll? Again, ang tanong natin, ilan ang papasa sa standard? So, sa dice, ang laman ng dice ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, at 6. Ngayon, ilan ang even numbers dyan? Kasi ang hinahanap natin dapat, even number. You have 2, 4, and 6. So, that is 1, 2, 3. So, ang papasa sa standard is 3. Over, ilan ang pinagpipilian? Anim. So, the answer is 3 over 6 or 1 half or 50%. So, ibig sabihin, kung gusto mo makakuha ng even number, may 50-50 chance ka na even number yung maroroll mo sa die. Ngayon, yung second question, which is, what is the probability that you will roll an even number on two rolls? Dalawang beses ka na daw magugulong. So, again, kung ilan yung roll, or ilan beses ka bubunot, ilan beses mo uulitin yung isang scenario, yun yung dami ng patlang. So, we have one, two. And then, ang operating operation natin is multiplication. First roll, gusto natin again, even number. So, that is again, three over six or one half. Sa second row, gusto mo pa rin even number uli. So, that is 1 half uli. The answer becomes 1 fourth or 25%. Again, notice kung isang roll ka lang, 50%. Pero pag dalawang beses na magkasunod, gusto mo, bababa uli siya, magiging 25%. That is just how simple it is. You just have to know kung ano ilalagay nyo sa itaas, ilalagay nyo sa ibaba, at kung ilang beses kayo magmumultiply. Now, we're going to switch to the situation. Okay? Ito kasi dice lang pinag-uusapan natin. Paano kung deck of cards? This is the question I posted earlier today dun sa uh, Team Like Up page sa Facebook. If you've, seen, if you've seen it, ito yung tanong. I'm going to explain kung paano makuha yung sagot. Okay? So, sabi, what is the probability of drawing a face card from a regular deck of cards? Again, ang goal natin is to find kung ilan ang papasa sa standard. Ngayon, ang key muna natin, sorry, ang key natin is to know kung ilan ang papasa sa standard sa isang regular deck of cards. So, kahit hindi tayo mahilig magsugal or hindi tayo familiar, you have to know this. Actually, the reason why I became more familiar with the deck of cards is because lumalabas to sa probability question. So, dito ako na-introduce sa cards. Kasi I had to learn that. So, tuturo ko rin sa inyo. Sa isang deck of cards, you, uh, you have 52 cards in total. Okay? Yung 52 cards na yun, nahahati yan sa apat na suit. Okay? Yung suits natin, you have the heart, diamond, you have spade, and yung clubs, clover, or flower. Yung tawag, okay? Clubs. Ngayon, uh, obviously, ang red dyan ay yung heart at saka diamond. Yung spade at saka clover or clubs, yan naman yung black cards. Okay? Bawat isang suit may tig to 12 cards. You have 12 here, 12, 12, ay, sorry, we have 13. 13, 13, 13, and 13. Ngayon, bawat 13 cards na yan sa pursuit, that is divided pa into different kinds of cards. Pag natin sa probability, you have to be familiar na merong face cards na tinatawag. Ano yung Tagalog ng face? Mukha. So, these are, are the cards na merong face. You have the king, queen, and jack. Okay? And then you have the numbers 1, 2, 10. Ito naman yung number cards na tinatawag. It's the same for all four suits. Meron kang tatlong face card at sampung uh, number cards. Tatlong face card, sampung number cards. Tatlong face card, sampung number cards. Okay? Kasi bawat isang deck meron silang kanya-kanyang face card at kanya-kanyang number cards. Yun ang bumubuo sa 52 na card ng isang deck. Ngayon, ang tanong dun sa ating question is, ay nahanap natin yung drawing a face card. Ngayon, hindi naman minention kung ano yung suit ng face card, right? Ibig sabihin, kahit anong mukha. May heart, king ng hearts, queen ng hearts, jack ng hearts, king ng diamond, queen ng diamond, at jack ng diamond, at king, queen, king, den, king, queen, jack din ng clubs, king, queen, jack ng clubs, ng clover. 
Ibig sabihin nun, lahat nung tigta-tatlo na yan, you have 3 here, 3 here, 3 here, at 3 here. Pagsasama-samahin natin yan. Kasi kahit sino dyan, pwede mong mabunot. At pwede mong sa standard. So, we have 12. 12 ang pasado sa standards. Yan yung nasa taas. Next na question, the drawing, the draw models na from a regular deck of cards. So, ilan ang laman ng isang deck? 52. So, the answer here is 12 over 52. Pwede pa natin siyang palitin. Gusto nyo 6 over 26. Dahil pwede pa ito iliit. Palitin. That is 3 over 13. That is the answer. Okay? Again, ang ginagawa lang natin, hinahanap natin yung mga papasa sa standard. And then, yun ang pinapatong natin dito sa ating formula. Okay? Ayun, ito pa. Sabi, a number is chosen at random from 11 to 50. Find the probability of selecting numbers with the last digit of 9. So again, same rules apply. And this time, I want you to answer this without me explaining muna. So hit pause now. Alright, let's see how you did. Again, kailangan natin yung number ng total ng uh, pumasa sa standard over the total na pinagpipilian. First thing that we need to do is to list kung ano yung papasa sa standard. In this case, Kailangan daw, ang, ang standard natin is numbers with the last digit of 9. So, anong last digit niya dapat? 9. So, from 11 to 50, ilan yon You have 19, right? Pasado yun sa standard. You have 29. You have 39 and 49. Hindi nakasama yung 59 kasi lagpas na siya sa 50. Hindi kasama yung 9 kasi wala naman siya sa 11. So, you have 1, 2, 3, 4. Tatlo, a, apat na numbers ang pasado doon sa 11 to 50. So, you have 4 over... And then, kung ilan yung pinagpipilian. Ang next na question, ilan yung pinagpipilian. So, from 11 to 20, that's 10 numbers. 21 to 30, 10 numbers. 11 to 50 kasi, ang total niyan is 40 numbers yan. Okay? 11 to, oh sorry. 11 to 20 is 10 numbers. 21 to 30 is another 10 numbers. 31 to 40 is 10 numbers ulit yan. At yung 41 to 50 ay 10 numbers ulit. Yan yung mga pinagpipilian mo, total. So, the answer is 4 over 40, or 1 over 10, or 10%. That is your answer. Okay? So, again, kahit anong ihagi sa atin, whether bola yan, whether uh, cards yan, whether digits yan, ang importante, just for you to know kung ilan nang papasa sa standard, over kung ilan ang total na pinagpipilian. Okay? Alright, I hope you got that. And if you learned something today, click thumbs up. If you have a copy of workbook number one, yung activity natin on probabilities on page number 28. So make sure that you answer that. Uh, this is yung part na pwede nyo pag-practice at. Also, um, if you want to reach out to me, if you are interested in getting a, a shirt, this is the Team Like a Shirt. Uh, you can buy this from my shop on Facebook. You can go to www.facebook.com slash Team Laika. Also, if you want to reach out to me, mag-request or mag-tanong, or just uh, doc talk to me, you can send me a message on this uh, Facebook page. Na yan. So, I'll see you guys on my next video. God bless the exam. Adja, adja, kaya ngayon.